Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another legendary item guide. And today we're going to be going over the manual transmission. What you need to do is come to Mount Craw, and if you can't get to this map yet, what you need to do is do a side mission called the Goblin's Tired of Forced Depression, and you can get that at Bright Hoof or over at the Overworld. Complete that mission and then you have access to the map. Now, once you are in Mount Craw, you're going to find a side mission in this map called The Slayer of Orkinar, and you need to complete that whole mission too in order to farm Orkinar, which is going to be the boss for farming today. So after you, uh, you know, complete that mission, you're going to get the Tributes Way Waypoint, and you can fast travel here and take on the boss anytime you want to. So let's go ahead and jump down and do one kill together here. And now, Vorkadar isn't a difficult boss, but he is quite tedious because you do have to place the bomb on his head, and there's a bit of dialogue to go with it every time you do it. But anyways, let's do one kill together and hopefully get it on camera, but if not, I do have one in my inventory. Alright, Vorkadar's dead. Hopefully we get lucky. And I don't think we got it. No, some world drops. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'll play the clip now of me getting the drop, and we'll talk about the item. So looking at the item card, we have the manual transmission. Now, keep in mind the prefix and suffix of the gun can change depending on the one you get. This is going to be a Stoker Assault Rifle that comes in any element, including no element. And the one we rolled here happens to be Dark Magic. For the red text, we have We Are Lights Out. And if that has a meaning to it, I'm not quite sure because there are a lot of songs called Lights Out, and maybe that's a reference to one of them. But if you guys know the reference, be sure to comment that below. At the bottom, we have the special, which is switching modes at full heat will upshift the weapon. Yeah, this weapon is quite unique because it is a stoker that acts like a skulldugger. On the card, you can see shots to break about two. That's a visual glitch. It's higher than what it says, but it does have the heat up mechanic to it. With this weapon being called the manual transmission, it's just as it sounds. So you're going to be shifting gears and building up a lot of fire rate. So look in the lower right hand corner. And when you see it go red, you're going to swap the firing mode, which is switching gears. Uh, so yeah, if you do it early, you're going to see here, you're going to break it and have to reload. So it's a timing kind of gun. So we're going to watch it now. And I'm going to say right now, this is fun and you can build your fire rate to an insane amount. So we're watching. Uh, I had a light spike there. Sorry about that. Wait for it to go red. I right, switch. It gets faster. Wait for it to go red. Switch. And yeah, you just keep doing this. And I don't even know the cap on it, but it is stupidly high. And you got to make sure you watch it, which can be difficult in combat. All right, red. Oh my goodness, that sound. Yeah, sorry about the lag spikes. Right now, shift is down and trying to reconnect over and over, but they're looking into it, and hopefully that'll be fixed soon. Ah, uh, right there, looks like we did it a little too early and lost our fire rate, but yeah, you can see this thing gets crazy fast. All right, so we're on Chaos 20, and I'm gonna say it again, this gun is really, really difficult to use. Um, it's really hard to hear the audio cue or look in the corner to swap gears when you're focusing on the combat. Um, maybe if I had more eyes, I could, like, you know, watch it, but I'm only human and I only have two eyes, so... Also, the base damage on it is very, very low, so you're not really going to get much out of it unless you have crazy fire rate going. I gotta say, I do love the gimmick of it, but it is very hard to keep track of it during combat. Alright, so I have an idea. I'm going to try to build up max fire rate and then go into combat and see if I can do it that way. Uh, to see the full potential of this weapon, so we'll heat it up and watch for the gear switch. There we go. Maybe not max fire rate, but try to get a lot of fire rate. Okay, switch. Alright, again. And even then, it doesn't seem all that strong, yeah. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Maybe we try Chaos Zero. Alright, this time we're on Chaos Zero. Let's go ahead and try it for a combat. Yeah, huge difference here. On Chaos Zero, the gun works pretty well. Uh, so, yeah, if it's going to work for late game, I think it's going to need a little bit of a buff. Alright, now let's have some fun and build up max fire rate. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it definitely melts when you get that max fire rate going. But I don't think it's worth, you know, spamming a bunch of ammo at the floor to build up max fire rate before entering combat. Yeah, I think we're about done with this gun here. It is fun, don't get me wrong, but the gimmick is way too hard to manage mid-combat. And obviously, if it's going to work for Chaos 20, it definitely needs a buff. For Chaos Hero, it is okay, though. Anyways, I do think that's going to be it for the video today, so let me know below in the comments what you think about the manual transmission. Personally, I do think it's a lot of fun, but it's very hard to manage and probably could use a slight damage buff. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, then be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.